currently the interbank rate or the official rate is around 225 rupees um, but the unofficial rate in the black market is above 250 it's like around 255 rupees as of uh, yesterday um, why why is that so because the government has uh, instituted some administrative changes sort of rationing the dollar uh, uh, discouraging your importers businessmen everyone who wants to get the dollar through formal means or even informal means you know so there's a sh shortage in the market uh, so you can say artificially the government is forcing the dollar value to remain between 220 and 225 and that's been happening for the past couple of months since Ishaq Dar has come to uh, come as the finance sar. what this means is that eventually this is unsustainable and the 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 formal rate will go and go closer to the informal rate in the black market so if if we assume that 255 is already the official rate going in the next seven to eight months research suggests that it's going to go up slightly more than that and by the end of 2023 uh, your dollar will go at rupees 270. Why this is happening primarily is because Pakistan foreign exchange reserves are critically low and they have been low for the past year uh, in fact this year alone we've lost 11 billion dollars uh, in our forex reserves so pakistan needs more inflows it needs more dollars they could either come through bilateral or multilateral sources such as imf your friendly countries or somehow pakistan needs to export a lot and earn those dollars so this the latter thing doesn't seem very likely because that would require structural changes in the economy to make an uh, to, to make us earn our dollars through our exports and so that's not a short short term thing what can happen is and that's the best case scenario is that we get the 1.2 billion dollars from imf then you know we get some inflow some injections from our friends such as china saudi arabia and so that will eventually help the dollar uh, in a sense that it will come slightly down but that's the best case scenario obviously we need those dollars to stop ourselves from defaulting you know i don't want to want to go there the worst case scenario of course is that pakistan does not receive those injections uh, obviously our foreign currency reserves right now are not enough to meet our external obligations in that scenario if we are not able to repay uh, those we have to repay uh, abroad in the international market will definitely default and that that's a whole you know complete new uh, debate or you know uh, what, what will happen if that happens that's a completely different chapter uh, the, uh, different uh, topic to what we're discussing right now sure. so yeah so uh, we're hoping obviously that that, that won't happen and uh, but there is that risk so why this coming back to your question what will influence the situation is that we need more dollars we need an inflow of dollars once the supply will increase then the rate, rupee uh, rate will also fall down but currently because we are in a crunch we have around 6.7 billion dollars in our reserves only as of december 9 this is the latest data by the state bank of pakistan which is barely enough to cover a month's imports and that's why the the government has put in place these administrative measures where it's trying to ration dollars where it's uh, discouraging or restricting businesses from importing if you've heard if you've been following the news millet tractors is not producing on fridays their plants are shut down every friday indus motor completely shut down its plants for the next 10 days and that's all because they are not being able to import the components the parts or uh, that they require for their production to continue So according to recent research by brokerage firms, securities firms, uh, one I'll quote top line research, according to them, uh, next year it will go to, next year I mean fiscal year 2024, it will go to 290 rupees. Fiscal year 2025, it will go to rupees 320. So, but, but these are sort of long term, medium to long term uh, projections. They might not necessarily turn out to be true, but there is a high chance of that happening because, if, because Pakistan has 
a structural problem in the sense that we are not able to earn our dollars we rely on bilateral injections loans to you know to uh, shore up our reserves so that's a problem we will we are likely to remain in this crunch where we we would need more dollars and have less dollars and so there is there are more chances of the dollar value going up in the near future to the medium medium term